video, I just wanted to show you the difference between um, um, like adding content as a as an as a column, like like where, where content would um, basically when you would add add an image or something like that, it would take up like the right or the left column, and then you can resize it, or you can also add those items as a float. And so I wanted to show you the difference there. So what I'm going to do is go into the edit mode. Um, and just quickly, so when, when we're in the edit mode here, um, you'll see several editable areas when you mouse over. Um, the page header content will be used for any content above the main body content. And then I have this pre-page footer, which, which is actually this um, lower area. And then there's the footer. So um, those are all editable areas. Um, anytime we're adding like main page content, we're going to put that within the page content section. So if I edit there, um, you'll see that it, it'll highlight that area. Um, by default, every one of those areas will already come with a, uh, a text block and you can't ever delete it. I mean, it'll, you can, but it'll just put a new one right back in place. So, um, in this case, we'll always want to add a page title, um, and all page titles will be H1 headings. So if I select that now and make that an H1, and that's already styled to match the, the style guide and things like that. Um, then as far as um, adding regular text content, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a paragraph. Actually, I'll add four total paragraphs and we can see what's going on. Um, so now, now we have um, four paragraphs of text and we can basically see how that would display. Um, and if I go back in and edit then, um, so then when I want to add images to this, um, as I mentioned, there's there's a couple different ways and, I've, and the reason why I'm recording this is because I've seen a lot of um, past projects I've worked on where where the site owner will um, inadvertently place content as a float instead of adding it as a column. And I can show you the, the, the difference there. Um, so let's go ahead and, and go ahead and grab an image. Um, so wherever you want to enter, wherever you want to add the image, you can you can mouse over and you'll see these, you know, these lines show up. Um, and if they if they fill the entire span like they are here, um, then if I click here and I add an image, it's going to add it in the entire width. Um, and I'll just go ahead and upload an image. Huh. Let me just keep adding the same circle image here. And this is just an example image. Um, so right now it's it's taking up 100% of the width because that's that's where that black line was showing up before. So if I just say save on that, um, that's that's fine to do it that way. Um, it's a little difficult difficult in this in this limited space that I'm recording in to kind of drag and drop. But I'll you know I'll do my best here to show you. So um, let me make this a little smaller, which you can actually well no, I won't. So if I can go back. There's like a point where it'll snap, like right there is like it, it, its default size. So, um, so now if I want to add this image to like a right column, what what I can do is is click this and then drag it and drop it. Um, and if you see this the square that, that that's showing up there, um, that's going to make an inline image or it's going to float the image. So so that's kind of used in a lot of you know like newspaper type. Um, layout where, where, where you would have you know content running down the page and then and then you can insert an image and then that content will wrap around the image so so that's how that's done the, the image is actually a floated element with, within that page and you can resize that um, it's quite effective um, but but if it's like a 50% type scenario like this and I say save let's go look how this is going to rescale um, a lot of times well, I guess in this in this layout it'll be fine, but sometimes um, things won't wrap correctly, and and you might have just like you know one or two words squashed over on one side, and and, and it could be that way also on mobile. 
Um, but in this layout, it looks like it's going to go ahead and you know kind kind of behave the, the way we want it to. Um, but let me go back in and show you the difference between that and then make it, you know adding that image as a column or adding this into its own column, I guess. So so now I can drag this and I can drop it. And again, if, if I release it there, we're, we're basically putting it at the top. If I drag it over to the right and keep going, then it becomes a black line, basically saying, you know, do you want to drop it here or do you want to drop it here? So if you look at the layout, you would you would think, okay, the you know the page title would probably have to be the thing that would span all the way across the page, and which which, which is totally cool. So so if I drop it here, it's going to actually put it directly to the right of the text. And, and so when, when, when I drop it, it's going to go ahead and split like 50-50 um, text and the image. And then I can go ahead and resize that. So, so if I want to do like a two-thirds or something like that, and that's, that's how that would look. Um, there's 12 invisible columns here. So you could go as small as, you know, one-twelfth of the page. But obviously that doesn't look great. So um, if, if it's like a, a fake kind of... Uh, sidebar within the page. And this is kind of how you do that. Um, we can then split apart content. Um, like an easy way to do that is, is either use a space or block or a line. Sometimes it doesn't work. There it goes. So so now we've split apart this, this text block into two separate text blocks. Um, and we have a line in the middle, which, which will delete the line. But um, what we can do now is we can grab this text and some, sometimes you just have to put it in weird places for this to actually work. It doesn't look like it's going to quite do what I was hoping it would do, which is to go span full wide. So I'll just keep it right there for now. Um, we can go ahead and break things off. There we go. So so now, now it's going to span full wide that way. And now if I want to put this image then um, just to the right of this top content, you can pretty much see that when I drag it to a point, there it is right there. So if I release it here, again, it's going to make its own 50% 50, 50 column or half column. And if I go a little bit to the left, it's it's going to snap it right there. So, so I can go and release that. And then we have this natural break in the content. And then we can actually drag this line and, and delete it. Um, and now this, this page... Um, it's probably going to look a, a lot like it did before when, when we were kind of going responsive. Um, but because this, this image is off to the right, um, it'll actually go below this content then, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's how that works. Um, that, that's really the, 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 the biggest difference there. But um, if, if you ever wanted to make, you know, like split, split um, content in, into two columns or three columns, um, just always remember that that you can add a block component or add add like that line in between. So actually, we'll be okay there. And then we can do the same thing with text. We, we, we go ahead and make two columns there. Or if we get some more text, we can go ahead and do this. We Let's, let's go ahead and add th three columns of text just to... Uh, Play with that so you, you can see again that you know if I release it here it's going to uh, basically plop that into its own half of, of the page uh, but I, if I didn't want to do that I can grab that drag and drop it and then place it right there and now we've got those three so in this mode you might want to add more spacing between those which which you can add that spacer block and then kind of adjust those however, however you see fit. Um, let me go ahead and hit save. And let's just see how that page looks. So that's how that page is looking. So um, hopefully that, that helps. Um, the, the biggest difference there is, you know, when, when you're dragging and dropping the content, what's, what's actually happening with it? I guess that's, that, that's always the question. And it's always kind of good to kind of play around and kind of, kind of fi figure out what you can do to kind of move things around. So, all right. Thank you.